Hello? Hello? Oh yeah, I need to tweet this stream. Uh, there's people and I think some might die. Okay, that's good enough. Oh yeah, I need to get away from the splash screen. <laughs> Yeah, I I'm fairly certain I want to save. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you think we're on a boat? I think we might be on a boat. Kaboom! Oh, oh, it actually happened. I, I, I was just joking. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't. Ow! Oh, it's going automatically. I missed. Hey, May. With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over, 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 eh, over with a V and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold grey floor. Our protagonist! Oh, God damn it! Ah, what the hell? <laughs> A bed? Ah, I fell pretty far. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. Also, please tell me if I need to uh, update the uh, no the wait. trigger warning there. That's not it. An earthquake, but it it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. So I'm reintroducing Where? 999 to you, Alan. This is this is my first time actually playing 999. Am I? It was originally Wait, through for the sucks. DS, I think. What's that sound? It sounds like tapping. Is there a woodpecker trapped That's in here with us? Five? What's this five mean? Ah, it, it's a number, dude. Uh... 999 is the first. Virtue's last reward is the second. Zero time dilemma is the third. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Numbers are for losers. Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? No. Open the door! I can't. I'm not here. <sighs> you pay you dingus. Huh? You adorable dingus. What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. Yeah, it does. 
It's kind of a shite watch, but it's a watch nonetheless. Five. That's that's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Maybe this has something to do with this. Maybe pushing something on this will work. Actually, technically, it's accurate for two hours. If you're on a twelve-hour clock. Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the <sighs> hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. Huh. That must have been quite some booze cruise. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Uh, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? Oh. What the... Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. What the, what the hell is going on here? Well, well, the window's cracking. Oh, the mirror is. Is that a window or mirror? What the hell? God damn it! Well, the water has seven years of bad luck, at least. <coughs> hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! If you find a sink in a shower and you take the, the shower head off and, and 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 the whole hose off and you shove the, the hose down the sink and round the U-bend, uh, you can breathe and... Whoa! Skippo! Yay! Oh my god! Thank you so much!
so there's triangles and squares. Oh, now we're hearing the soundtrack. See. This is sinister. C. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there's a Thing. That does not help me. Uh. I have no idea what that means. Uh. Then she clicked out the window, sorry. Uh, hmm. Oh, neat. Nope. Uh, we haven't done the correct thing yet. What does five mean? Oh, that's cool. Uh, another key. Ooh. Should probably hold on to this key. Why was oh. that random line voice? Oh, what's up with my face? Y you look like shit. I look like a zombie. Man. Yeah, you look like shit. What happened to me? Uh. How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and. And zombie jumping. I'm back. <laughs> Not like anyone will respond. Why are you talking to yourself, Jimpei? Uh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Huh? That, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm. Everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. <sighs> Oh! Oh! What? Shit. <laughs> Who were... Uh, oh. I... I can't... Uh. <sighs> oh, he got gassed. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. Miss, Mr. Otto too? Or, 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 or Miss Autotune, or... I was just gonna call him Autotune. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. No, thank you. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. It might not be a guy! <coughs> that son of a bitch must have taken me here. Might not be a guy. When I get my hands on him, well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Thank you! Just who was that? They said, you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. Remember the game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. It, we just saw this. The nonary game. Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? Ugh, God damn it! Whenever a game does a flashback to something that happened a few seconds ago, I 
I always think of Tales of Symphonia 2. And I always think to myself, Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Uh... Okay. Uh... That's a tiny pipe, Jinpei. Hmm... Am I missing something? Probably missing something. I probably just can't figure out the code. So the page with the triangles and numbers. Okay. I know, I'll make notes with my iPad, because I have technology on my side. 7463? Ah. No. That's not it. Hmm. Let's have a look again. I wonder what the arrow's all about. with me in puzzle games is I'm really dumb about puzzle games. Yeah, I can't put another key in. This one only goes up to five.
Ou não é ver. Maybe I flip it upside down. Is it meant to be this way up? <laughs> hmm. So that'd be on eight. This only goes up to I swear I've seen this puzzle before. Hmm. Maybe it's with the right orientation. Two nine. Ooh. Yeah, see, that doesn't work because it. Hmm. Am I being stupid? Probably being stupid. Oh! Oh! Ah! Hmm. Oh, this is the same problem. But what are the right numbers? What are the right numbers? Ooh. Okay. To game facts. Because I'm stupid. Yes, please, Omar Heath. Search more. Oh, okay. Around the room. So that's the only thing in the closet. Anywhere specific I should look. Oh. <gasps> oh! Ah! Ah! Found it! So if I hold them both the right way, maybe. So. Zero two six three. Let's try that. <gasps> you don't need. 
need to tell me the numbers now. I, I, I can figure it out myself. Oh. Digital route. <coughs> First, add all the numbers in question to each other. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. of them to have a calculator. Oh yeah. Let's check this one. So that's seven four eight five. Seven four eight five. It all makes sense now. Yeah, Jen added me to Sean and Jen's uh, auto host list, which is very nice of her. I don't know why she did that, but I appreciate it wholeheartedly. And, uh. Hmm, now what? Two and three. It might be Feel free to shout out a combination if you think it um, if you think it'll work. One, seven, eight. Nope. Uh, the digital route is seven. Seven, six. Yeah! Yay! May is smart. Let's fucking leave! Goodbye, you bitch of a room. 
Ah. I'm good at maths, but I don't know much about it. May is smart, and May is smart, like M A Y and M A E. Wait, is it? Whew, that felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. You sound like you're speaking from experience, Junpei. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a, a hallway? Oh, a door. Another door. Damn this water. Grandma. Huh, yes, it opened. Yay. Ooh, what? fancy. What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? I've been on a ship that looks a bit like this. Well, it was a ferry. Well, yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! Well, Sea Deck. <laughs> wow, you have no lung capacity, do you, Jinpei? B Deck. <coughs> hurry! Hurry! A Deck's next. I'm. What? I'm not saying anything, Alan. Oh, oh, boobs. People. A lot of people. Um, uh, um. I guess it's another one of us now. Yep. Yeah, a, a, a dancer. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? Uh, what? yeah, sure. Nothing. Why not? Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. I, I like... I like All her pom pom cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Yep. Huh? Uh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she have earmuffs? <laughs> ah. <laughs> they're just grunting at each other! Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Mountain? Uh -huh. The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Whoa. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? <laughs> oh. Four. And this one says five. Oh. The same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too. Same for me. She looks slightly like Junko from Danganronpa. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <laughs> She she doesn't sound Open. very in a hurry, does she? <laughs> Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Wash your mouth out with soap, young man. Out of my way. Him big. <laughs> Body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. Mm. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So... Are these toilets? So that means this door is probably locked too. But these still, are some... 
Weird toilets. Damn it! Are there any other you doors? You poor strange child, Junpei. Ooh. Gasp! She looks like a love interest! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like her dress. It's cute. I like her boots too. Ah. Uh. Huh? I like her outfit. That's a nice outfit. Uh... Yeah. <sighs> Watch out! Whoop. Uh... Yeah. Kiss! 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 <laughs> the heterosexuals are at it again. Is that you, Jumpy? J Jumpy. Uh, Akane. Oh. Ah. Uh, the 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 friends. They they knew each other as small people. Oh. Oh, someone actually used their beepers points. Uh, hello, Butterfly TG. I've noticed you. So it's a rich person with no sense of humor. What's that voice? Ooh. This is that guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. No. What do you need to do to us? So, I see there are fans of Oran High School Host Club in the chat. <laughs> I appreciate no, no. that. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Ooh. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. Yep. The key to opening these well, they, doors they do have are numbers the numbered on them. bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. 
Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Who is Lion's voice actor? All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose uh, of the game is simple. It would make a terrible watch. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Oh, Richard Epcar. I feel like I've heard that name before. Oh, hey. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. Well, no Rain shit, dude. time, so nine o'clock then? I've never seen Ghost of the Shell. I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, Bat then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Batty boy, son, child. Thank you for posting your battos in the chat. That's my email. Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! I have never watched a JoJo. Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. I had I had a dream about JoJo's once. And the others. Huh. It 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 was that dream about um me and H Bomber guy going to uh, Paul Joseph Watson's sandwich shop, and then for some reason we went to his house, and then for some reason he he he, he said he was the 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 reincarnation of Dio Brando, and Dio Brando is the only Jojo I know of. Hmm. Was Richard Epcar in Persona 5? Mm. Uh. Listen, he's in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, so... Uh, I have way too many questions. He's in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, and he's the only name I can name off the top of my head, other than <clears throat> Jotaro. And Who is your that's own? about it. Uh, have, haven't you ever seen Code Geass, Junpei? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Uh, that's a lot of bows, Alan. Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? Uh, why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others. Why are these eight people here? They probably have their reasons. And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Uh. Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, Probably. wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's the find belly another belly button's way. in a weird place. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? 
Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. It, it just makes sense to go into the, the number doors, because, you know... Whoa! If you can't find a way out not through the numbered doors, then... What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Uh, how? how? How did you see that? How did you see that, Prince? Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. How do you In know? other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication hmm. device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. Hmm. <sighs> this one doesn't open, either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> The, the voice acting in this game is not the best, is it? It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. In the dancer oh. ladies. Sorry. Probably is, doesn't have the best voice acting. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. Ooh. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No shit! No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too. Mm -hmm. More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a it makes strange sense. mark here, too. N. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then oh. the mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. Is she Wendy Lee? I feel like she's Wendy Lee. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There, the two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol in green. Oh. She's right. It Jesus? looks similar to what we saw downstairs. Jesus. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. Uh, okay, this nerd. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps Ooh. it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could Fancy. get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. But maybe it could explode the other walls. You know, the non-reinforced stuff. Or would that just blow up the pillars and make it all come crashing down on your head? 
the windows too. Huh. But it's not like they have access to explosives. In other words, we're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Mm. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. Yeah, her belly button looks just a little bit too high, I think. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm totally against this. So, so you'd like to just sit here for nine hours and drown? Okay. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where cool we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Grumble Grumble is these days. Yeah, Glaucus. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Mm. Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! <laughs> we don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us oh. he had them, and get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. That's pretty simple. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, son means three. So, I'll be Santa. Nerd! Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Any of you Japanese people know Japanese? Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? It, it probably wasn't like any of you chumps know Japanese. <laughs> My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Uh. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. How do you know if you have your eyes closed? Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. How, how do you know that it says two on it? Oh wait, maybe someone told him. Never mind. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? Alright, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be... Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. <laughs> I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh. Uh, then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? 
Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're mm. June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is... Five is me. Six is June. We don't get to see Jim pay for some reason. Seven is seven. <laughs> and eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Okay. <laughs> Say words, please. <laughs> Say words, nerd. What number are you? Mm. Say your words! Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? C code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. Nice. You've okay. got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. Hey! Oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Ah. Oh. If you get any closer. What a creeper. I'll cut her open. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Plot twist. Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you doing? No, you're to not. Do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't uh. worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Oh. Here. Verify. Uh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel. The round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll uh, kill you if I have to. She can still use her arms, you know. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> just do it. And, do and it she's now. got her hand on his his wrist, so she could just like push, push. Uh, okay, I'll do it like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered Ooh. into the device. Then... Hey, no spoilers! Oh wait, are you saying that? On your numbered bracelets shit. And find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open! Door 5. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Mm. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet. Yes. I am. So? so then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> oh, okay. What are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, all right, this is what you wanted, right? Oh. Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers, four and one. Four plus one is five. Is there any point to having asterisk? The, the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Ooh. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Get back! No! Uh. Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine, 
4 plus 1 plus 9 is 14, and the digital root of 14, 1 plus 4, is 5. In other words... <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Oh. Good. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Bye. Wait. Here. She's all yours. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. Bye, asshole. Clover, Have fun in the... Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! Uh... Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Oh. Why is it stopping? God damn it! <laughs> Lied? Huh? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! Oh. This is wrong! Why? What's happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Uh. Why? Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, uh, god damn it! Oh. Why? Why won't it work? He, he, he's on the loo. Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? He's on the loo. Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Uh. <laughs> Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. Consider my jokes about him being on the loo. It was him. He this is weird. Me. It was him. <laughs> do, do you want to name names that bud? <laughs> oh. Oh. A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. Mm. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Uh Save Yes No Uh Who do you want to choose? Al wants to go with Santa. Any other takers? Hmm. <laughs> you, you pick your crush? What, my crush or Jinpei's crush? Because... Uh... Oh, Jinpei's crush. Santa and, uh, um, June. Uh, you think you could give me a hand here? Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm, grumble. Five plus three plus six is fourteen. The digital root of 14, 1 plus 4, equals 5. This should do it. Now we just oh. need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? 
I'm gonna open it. Oh no! Ugh! Oh blood! My God! Good God! Whoa, that's pretty bad. He he blew up. That's uh. June, uh, are you okay? That's why I cl included a trigger warning. What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh. All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. Oh. How are you feeling? Are you all right? Why? <laughs> why did this happen? D do you think why she'd be okay? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Language! Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? Uh... Well... Mystery Man was kind of a, a dingus. It's ten o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? <laughs> We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero People is like going on swear. about is up! Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? Blood. Uh, blood and... Pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <laughs> well, 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 he just died that way, so. He went boom boom. I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap, and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> Snake! What's so goddamn funny? Uh. Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> what the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? Uh. He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... Uh. All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? Yeah, and um, and according to that letter we had, it uh, if the people who 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 verified the door don't go through it. Specifically, like everyone who verified what did he say about the number through. of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door, right? And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero- <sighs> All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? Mm. I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Yay! The ninth man, however- I feel good about way. myself. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Mm. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? Oh. There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had Snake. hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? I I know that the earth spins and that tea is delicious. Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. 
Huh? I like to. What the hell is this? <laughs> I see. This is Braille. Sorry, guys. Yep. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. <laughs> I... I like Yorkshire tea. It's a specific brand. Oh, and when I went to New York, they, they had like a, a... I was in the Roosevelt Hotel, and they have like a, um, a Starbucks that's only there in the mornings. And one time I got orange tea, and that was pretty nice. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? What? Yep. What does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. Lucas, that sounds super fancy. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. Oh. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. I have no doubt, by the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. Uh. In other words, you will be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a bit more. I've had much of bubble tea. It was strong. Your timer, the thaw in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. So if they have a bomb in their small intestine, it'll be really uncomfortable to shit out again. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. <laughs> well, Alan. You will have 81 seconds. If, after that time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. Am I not allowed toilet humor in my own stream? <laughs> in order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. They forgot the, the square brackets. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever on inside. Oh, true. Yeah, if they swallowed it, it's probably... small. And the countdown will cease. Oh! 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 What the? I think they would have noticed if the, the bomb was like surgically placed. Plus they already said it was swallowed. Will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you had passed through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the number doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. 
So, so, murder. Kill everyone else. Take their bracelets. Have a blast! Oh. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. Oh. So it's saying, only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Or else, you become chunky salsa. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. <coughs> The Reds, Deads, and Bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Literally! Uh, shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! There's a bomb inside me. Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? Shits and giggles. All right, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? <sighs> Jumpy, you fool. Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? Yeah, I saw that too. I think this predates Danganronpa, actually. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We Ooh. woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay. He's uh, acting awful shifty. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover. Uh... We were both kidnapped from the same room. And you woke up together. Well, to be fair, Snake's blind, so... So, what's the deal with the two of you, anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. Well, well really duh. so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh... Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. And we were three! Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Hmm. Junpei. Jun. Does any of this ring a bell? Huh. Ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. <laughs> a millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Uh, who are an item? Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. 
Mm. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of the Black Knights? No, I think they were they were always siblings. It could be a number of things. Oh, no, no, me. Perhaps or a research group. That's pretty morbid research. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. Uh. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! Yeah. I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. And a whole lot of cash to burn. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? Uh... Talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. Yep. You're right. You fools. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, well, I'm jumpy, so I, I gotta. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be alright. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, hmm. that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. <sighs> if I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. Baby. We were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. <laughs> if you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine. Jeez. I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. <laughs> That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If mm. I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and snake is two. And if you add clovers four and my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. Yep. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our di- 8, 3, 6, 5. It's 22. And 2 plus 2 is 4. So that works. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So, the digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. I can't do mental arithmetic! It's Yay! Four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is 4. Then we can go into door 4. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team oh. assignments will be like this. 7, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door 5. Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Well, it's not like I need four. to. It's not like I, uh. 
need to do it in my head. Are these really the teams I want? The Ondor 5 is what remains of the Ninth Man. I never want to mm. see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring... Should I stay silent and go through... Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right, then. It seems we've reached a conclu... I'm going through door five. We're over there, too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. <laughs> I... Which door? Hmm... Oh... Safe here? Yes. I won't return to the title screen. I wouldn't end on a cliffhanger. Uh Choose for me! Choose for me while I go to the loo. Be back in a tick. So that's two for four. Okay. I saved, didn't I? Yeah, I saved. Okay. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. That's gay. This should be fine. It's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. <sighs> Bye! Now then, goodbye. Be careful. <sighs> so horrible. You're the one who made that choice. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Mm. Sorry, Snake! You fool, Clover. Let's go! Hey! 
How is it over there? Did you find anything? Uh, it's just like before. Probably Ugh. the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? Kaboom! Uh. <laughs> hey, there it is! That's gotta be that dead thing! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! Oh. The beeping stopped. Kaboom! Phew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys! Are you doing alright over there? Yes, we're fine. Oh, hey! I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color is different. Oh. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead, other than that, it's just like the red. No, 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 really. The, the red is red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That helps a lot. Oh. Uh, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay, we ready? Yeah. No. Sure. Let's go. No. All right, let's go. No. Run! There's no blood in here! Damn, it's counting down. We oh. can't go back! No we shit! Hurry and find the device! Hey! Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I already am! Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Uh, we don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. Oh. Uh. It, it won't. Shit! This one's open. Same here. It's not moving! Oh, there it is! At the end of the hallway. Oh. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 80! I know that, goddammit! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! <laughs> Hurry! It's the dead! Get over here! Oh. Come on, every... Tense. <sighs> High five. How y'all doing? We're on a murder boat. Uh, it looks like it stopped. There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. Nope. A keyhole. What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same symbol, but I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. Oh, uh, yeah. June's, June's one of those weird girls who's really into ast astrology. Saturn. And Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. I see. Wait. Yeah, so I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... Oh. We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. Okay, I'll get B93 then. Oh. One, two, three! Hey, it opened. Yeah, it did. Why, why'd you need to count down? I, uh... You could've I just opened it. That. It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Hmm. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. Oh.
Oh no. I'm falling asleep in my seat and there's a puzzle. <gasps> Things! That's weird. Ooh, matches. Sweet. Can I? Can I light one? Can I set hey, the boat on fire? Fever. You feeling better now? Yes. Let me see your forehead. Oh. I <laughs> guess it really has gone down. <laughs> Are you <laughs> worried about me? Uh, the heteros are at it again. They're at it again. What do I choose? Uh, are we gonna be heteros? Or uh, are we gonna... Not... Do the romance... With... June... Akane... Poipo... Okay, Alan says we're hetero. Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? It's clear they're gonna do it! How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? With, with difficulty and drugs! There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-deck. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? What? Jumpy? Are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? No. Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know, anything. <laughs> I mean, you're hiding it, how would I know? You mean like, the number of men I've dated? Uh. <laughs> Do you want to know? <sighs> Uh, Don't worry. Only 18. <laughs> Time zero. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Because anymore. you're Mr. Wright, Jumpy. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. It could be a coincidence. Have you thought about that? Wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah. yeah. I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. <laughs> oh. Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? Why would they want to... Or the lunch lady? Murder you. No. I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh. Hey. It's a cop. Uh... June? June? June! No horny June. I mean, we, we haven't seen each other since we were, like, children, so, yeah. The heteros are at it again!
is bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. How did you know that? Ugh. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of yep. course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Maybe it's a really old cruise ship. Have you ever thought about that? Do you remember what Zero said? I think my headphones just died. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm. Mm. That's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... Hmm. What do we choose? What do you want to choose? Do we think it's a replica of the Titanic? Oh no, you've contradicted each other. Rock, paper, scissors. Hey, Indie Cat. Do you think this boat's a replica or the real Titanic? Yes, this is 999. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Fake. A replica of the Titanic. A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on it's earth on, would make It's on like Steam that? as a two pack with uh, Virtue's Last Reward. Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. fans. Crazy Titanic fans. Fans of a horrifying event that killed. Thousands of people a hundred years no ago. Way. Do you even know how much money that No idea. But all they've gotta do is break even. So much you know? money. Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise. Climb aboard a piece of history. Sail around hell. With marketing mm. like that, they'd probably Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an <laughs> ominous past? It's the site of the worst accident in history. <sighs> Over fifteen hundred people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. Aw, bye-bye, Indy Cat. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? Uh, What do we think? <laughs> okay. Sorry, but I, I can't really say I believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, what about- No, nah, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. <laughs> yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Uh... Not, you know, an iceberg. What? A curse sank the Titanic. Uh... The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, oh. the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. This is apparently a thing that people actually believe about the Titanic. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Hmm. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! 
<laughs> That's stupid. I don't buy it. It's true. Uh, I'm so sure. That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. It was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable. What is so unbelievable about it? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Uh, okay. Pretty? Yes. But she was a mummy. Hmm. Jumpy, that's weird. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost Ugh. looked alive. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I I, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns that into some kind is, of wax. That uh, is yep. also a real thing. The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And yes, saponification. But that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she oh. was frozen. What? That's right. The whole body was huh. frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. Huh. The story says that from the time of its discovery, all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. So she was smoking hot, but she was also frozen solid. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Mm. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. What? Oh, okay. Huh? That, nah, that seems too silly to be true. It, 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 it probably just turned into water. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Well, June, you're uh, weird. Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something huh. like that really exist? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. I... Yeah, I'm falling asleep. I'm gonna save. And call it here. Because I get the feeling that, um... Doing a puzzle while I'm about to fall asleep isn't a good idea. <laughs> good night stream! Thank you for watching! And subscribing and following and actually using the beepers points. If you look at my donation link you can see the, the amount of beepers points you have and what you can spend those on. Anyway, good night.